Tune in this month to find out what has happened that hasn't happened in decades and why 2021 is going to be a phenomenal year, whether you own real estate or you are looking to own real estate. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Ed Lane, and this is January's Northwest Market Update for the beautiful Seattle market. I'm actually sitting out here under blue skies, and it's a gorgeous day, but as you can probably tell by the pine needles behind me, we had one heck of a windstorm last night, and we've been experiencing something called an atmospheric river. But today we're going to talk about what's not happened in decades in this market, and why 2021 is going to be a great year whether you own real estate or whether you're looking to acquire it. So if you want to stay in tune with what's happening in the market, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and pound that little bell so that you get notified when I drop some knowledge in, into my YouTube channel. But let's get started, shall we? So I was asked this morning about my market updates actually and, and how much people enjoy them and what kind of feedback I get. And I actually told the, the agent that was thinking about doing them that it's not so much that I get a bunch of feedback. It's that when I talk to people, they are much more informed and they reference my videos. So if you like these videos, please comment down below, uh, tell your friends about it, share it out. That would be great. Love to spread the word. But most of my clients are most interested in what specifically is happening in the Northwest market and in Seattle proper as well. Well, as you might imagine, the pandemic has created quite the stir. The riots and the political upheaval has created, created quite the stir. And we're seeing folks move out of Seattle in record numbers. But we're not seeing them leave the area. We're just seeing them move out of the city. So I'm selling a lot of properties in Seattle uh, and I'm selling a lot of properties to Seattleites outside of Seattle, but in the surrounding areas. So that's not a bad thing in my opinion, especially since I live in uh, the suburbs of Seattle myself. Now, what are we seeing that we haven't seen in a long time? Well, if you watch my videos, you've heard me reference how uh, we don't see the total statewide inventory dip below 10,000 very often. Well, right now it's at 5,200. We live under 10,000 now, whereas about a year and a half ago, you heard me say in one of my videos that that was only the sixth time in the last 20 years that we went under 10,000. So now we live there and buyers are having to deal with it and we're still seeing multiple offers and escalator clauses and all that kind of stuff. Now, in my tease, I said why this would be a great year to sell real estate as well as to buy. Well, let's start with sell. Interest rates are still at unbelievably historical lows. Inventory is still at unbelievably historical lows. In fact, statewide, we are down to 0.5 months of inventory. That's two weeks of inventory. And in Snohomish County, just north of me, they have 0.25 months of inventory. So they have one week of inventory. Pierce County is at a third of a month. So we are seeing unbelievably low numbers of inventory. We are also at the, the zenith. We're at the point of the year where they should be the lowest, right? People stop putting their homes on the market in November and December and early January. They start putting them back on or on for the first time in late January, February, and March. And so we're gonna to start to see that rise, but we are starting from such a low point. So if you're thinking about selling and every seller's circumstance is different and unique, you should talk to me. I'll come by, I'll give you a free market analysis, I'll let you know not only what your home will sell for, but we'll talk about the three numbers that are most important, right? Market value obviously is quite important. Your list price is even more important because it will drive the third number, which is what it ultimately sells for. And I'll tell you what to do and what not to do to get your home ready for sale. Now, what about buyers? Well, Buyers are in for a fight the first half of this year. 
having said that, we are going to start to see inventory rise in the second half of the year at a pretty decent clip. And that's in part because the confidence of the seller community, but also we're going to start to see foreclosures and short sales start to come out into the marketplace once the moratorium is lifted. Now, in a recent social media post, you heard me talk about how they got extended. Right now, they are extended to March 31st for FHFA, which would be Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and February 28th for FHA, which are HUD-type properties. So uh, once those moratoria are lifted, if they keep those dates, it'll be four months from there before a foreclosure would be processed and then assigned and put on the market. So uh, we would anticipate seeing more foreclosure inventory come August, maybe September later, if they start to extend the moratoriums further. Uh, that being said, if you're a buyer, you should be willing to roll up your sleeves and go into battle now, because even though we'll see inventory rise later in the year, we're not going to see depreciation. So really you're putting yourself in a more difficult position. If you have the mindset that, oh, I'll just wait until rates come or wait until the market slows down and cools off. Well, by then rates will already be rising and homes will still have appreciated over that same period of time. So now you're paying more for a property that you could have bought in March or April, and you're paying a higher interest rate if you're financing that purchase. So don't be short-sighted. Uh, really, in my experience, I've talked to a lot of folks and they've felt like um, they wanted to wait, they thought they'd get a lower price and they flat were wrong. So don't fall into that mistake. By all means, do research, understand the market, align yourself with an expert in the market and they'll help you find the best deals. Our off-market system has helped us sell over 100 homes a year every year so we can help you use those sorts of tools to find homes that are not in the MLS, they're not on the internet, but they are sellers that would entertain an offer. So that's your update for this month, January 2021, the Northwest Market Update. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit long, but man, we are in some crazy times. So Happy New Year to you and yours, and I hope you have a safe and wonderful 2021. Take care.